If you've always wanted to learn chord style piano, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Piano Chording Level 1. This is also Unit 5 of Year 1 Beginner Piano Lessons. At any time, you can click the info card and come on over to pianovideolessons.com for more information. Welcome to Piano Video Lessons Year 1, Unit 5. Today's lesson is number 11, and Unit 5 is also a standalone unit for piano chording, Level 1. So come on over to pianovideolessons.com, just click here at the link in the info card, and you can find all of these lessons for, uh, for beginning uh, for chording level one and also for um, all of the prior lessons and future lessons for year one comprehensive piano lessons. In lesson 10 we learned chord progressions for uh, some common chord progressions used in music the heart and soul progression, the ubiquitous pop chord progression, and the Pachelbel canon progression. And we learned how to improvise over those progressions to make our own beautiful music. So check that lesson out if you didn't already. And now here we're going to learn to play the Pachelbel Canon in D. And it's written in D major. This is the original key. But let's have a look at just the melody. We're going to have F sharp down to E, down to D, down to C sharp. I'm just using neighboring fingers. I'm going to cross over to my two and come back up. And then I'm going to use my four on this note and I can just keep moving my hand down here because I'm gonna keep moving I'll use a four here and then I can use a two and this keeps me reaching everything that I need it now here I'm gonna play a five uh, a five yeah so five one two five four one I'm just gonna write that in for you five one two five four reaching one down a note then we're gonna go to the B minor pattern here five one two five four one same fingering going down to G five one two five four one and then one two five uh, one, two, five. Then we have a little scale here. One, two, three, four, five, five. And move your one again. One, two, three, four, five, three. Move your five to G. And then one. And then I'm going to make my way down a little bit here. I'll use a two. Two, three, two. Just open up my one. Then I can have uh, five and three here. It's an F sharp. It's, you can see it here in the key signature. I'm just going to bring it into the music. I thought I wrote them all in, but I see that I didn't write that one in. Reading in key signatures, just moving down two notes at a time here. Reading in key signatures this isn't something that we've covered extensively in uh, beginner piano lessons year one so far. So I did make a point to include all of the sharps that you have to play so that you don't have to be thinking about key signatures yet. All right, so that's basically how we're going to play through this. Uh, good idea to just run through that and write your own fingerings in if that helps. Um, now we're going to play this with the left hand. I'm going to use the 1-5-8 pattern because it is uh, really goes nicely with this. Um, you could even expand your 1-5-8-5-8. I'm just going to keep it simple for now. I'm going to go 1-5-8. Next note is E with an A chord, then B minor, then F sharp minor. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to practice all of these chords together because we have done them in the last lesson. We don't need to be refreshing the left hand alone. But if you want to go back and review the left hand alone, you can. So I'm just one, five, eight. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. Left hand moving to D. So in this next line, things get a little bit fancier. One, five, eight. We just line that up. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. Now to B minor. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. Here is a new pattern again on this next line for the right hand. 
moving my right, one, five, eight, in the left hand. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. One, five, eight. One. Now the right hand's playing two notes at a time. My left hand is just progressing through all of these chords. You may want to practice this hand separately. a fair bit to get comfortable with just the right hand melody before adding in the chords. You may just want to practice the chords by themselves just to get used to those reaches. Alright, so the whole thing sounds like this. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'd love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment in the YouTube comment section or send me a note at pianovideolessons at gmail.com. All right, so uh, you should keep up practicing all of your major chords and all of your minor chords and uh, practice them in oompa pas and practice them in one five eights and practice your diatonic chords for all of the keys that you know. This way you'll keep your chord vocabulary growing each time. All right, so uh, join us in our next lesson where we're going to be adding a new expanded arpeggio pattern to our repertoire. And uh, we'll apply that to some of the pieces that we've already learned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.